right, we're approaching a green light. There's someone in front of me, and the car sees that, so it's not asking me to confirm to make it through the light. What if they were running a red light? Would it follow anyway? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. This is this is 2020.6.4 point. Uh, sorry, point 24.6.1. Point 24.6.1. So we're trying to just show you how it does all this. We're not going to hit another light for a second here. I should, should run some red lights with your Lexus and see if your Tesla follows. Oh, really? Get you in front? <laughs> yeah. You think that'll be a good video? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a good video idea. All right, so if you're not familiar with this traffic light control and stop sign control, it's in the autopilot menu. Traffic light and stop sign control beta. Basically, the way it is now, everything's in beta. It's always been in beta for autopilot, but that feature in particular, if you turn it on and there is a vehicle directly in front of you that the autopilot sees on the screen, on the visualization, then you don't have to confirm that you're going through a green light. But if there is no vehicle immediately in front of you that's going through the green light, I don't know if it's just in your lane or if it's side to side, I don't know how that works, then you do have to confirm by either tapping the accelerator if you're in any Tesla or pulling back on the stalk over here. There's a stalk on the side of the wheel if you're on a Model S or X with autopilot. So you can have one of those two methods to do it, but eventually you won't have to do that, but for now you do. So we'll see if we can get you an example of that where you have to you have to do something and it'll also display, if it's gonna make you do that, right at the bottom of the display, it'll show that it, it, will, it says like stopping at 500 feet, stopping at 400 feet and it'll start to slow down. You'll, you'll feel it even if you don't see that visual cue. All right, with this light, that truck just went through, so it's not asking for confirmation. Now that truck is way ahead of me. Oh, I'm not gonna, we'll have to try at another intersection. All right, at this intersection, we're gonna end up stopping. And if we come to a complete stop, I don't know if it'll start again. It's interesting because when I came to a complete stop with just me in the front and no cars in front, it made me start up. In this case, I don't think we actually came to a complete stop. And there are cars in front of me, so we're going straight through it. Now, let's let those cars, it says stopping for traffic control in 500 feet. It's telling, well, it did tell me that. Let me see what happens here. It's seeing that car go through the traffic light. Uh, it's not asking me to confirm. We're just going straight through without confirming. There need to be, I think all those cars need to be completely out of view to ask to confirm. Okay, it says it's stopping. See, it says it's going to stop. And so there needs to be someone in my lane, not just the adjacent lane, because there was a car in the adjacent lane right there. And as you can see, it kept telling me it was going to stop, and it was, it would have made the stop if I didn't do anything. So that's what it is for now. There's got to be a car directly in front of you, or you've got to confirm. All right, well, there was a red light. We were gonna stop at next, now it's green. And of course, I'm in the lane without the car again. So here, I gotta give the little signal, confirm I did it on the stalk there, instead of the gas or the accelerator pedal like I did last time. And there was a yellow light, we went right, went right through it. <laughs> it didn't stop for the yellow light. So maybe it won't stop for any yellow lights. Maybe it has to be red. I don't even know. I don't think they even mentioned that in the description of how this stuff works. All right, now we know what should happen here, right? Green light, nobody in front of me, nobody even in the adjacent lane. See, it's slowing me down, slowing me down, slowing me down. It's gonna stop, it's got red across there, but I, oh, I did the wrong stalk confirmation. <laughs> you gotta pull the stalk towards you, not push it away from you. Just remember that, if you've got a Model S or X. That's what I did, was I pushed the stalk down, but you, again, you can pull the stalk towards you, or you can, push down on the accelerator, either one will get you to work. And there's someone stopped in the road over here. Let's see if autopilot, let's see what autopilot does here. There's someone stopped in the road. Well, they're signaling that they're not going anywhere. So I gotta, I gotta, well, now they are going somewhere. What are they doing? All right, one last chance here. Let's get me to show you how this works on this traffic light, which is green for now. It may not be green when we get there. But here we go. Uh-oh, someone's approaching the intersection. It's telling me it's gonna stop. I'm gonna pull the stalk towards me, which I just did. And we go right through it. That's how it works. Now you know all the details. So be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the thumbs up and the bell for notifications, and we'll see you in the next video.
Oh, and something else I've noticed here with this red light. Watch what it does. There's a blinking light up here. Look. It's a blinking light. It's a blinking light. Oh my gosh. Uh, it thinks it's red. Yeah, it I I even I pulled back on the stock for confirmation, but that wasn't obviously any kind of regular old traffic light. And it it shouldn't have reacted to that, but just so you know, it's going to react to those kind of things. So you got to be aware that your car is going to suddenly hit the brakes if you're in that kind of a situation. If it has happened to you, let me know in the comments and pass this video along too. At some point, Tesla will figure that out and it won't happen anymore, but for now it does. So be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the thumbs up and the bell for notifications. We'll see you in the next video. I hear a train. Well, I, I don't have to worry about it, right? Autopilot's doing it. Yeah, there it goes. All done. I still hear the train. There's a blinking light above me, and it's not responding. Oh, it saw it, but it didn't really do much. You can see it, it saw it, but not like last time. But now it's got to confirm. There we go. Confirm.